Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 3 and 4 of Black Bullet. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 3 and 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> we all think about that. Yeah, that does not. Oh, what the heck? And you gonna make him drink that, aren't you? gonna eat that oh yeah but at the same time and you're still a messenger at the end of the day That looks so... Exactly. I mean, Wintaro could if he really wanted to, or even Kisa. Oh, I mean, but like, hold up, wait, let's go back to last week and how, in a way, she didn't want to see him. Nevertheless, have nothing to do with him. But now she's going to school. And it's like, okay, if he goes up, like, what if she does something? Like, what if she's like a, a secret atomic bomb or some shit? I don't know. But I don't think Andrew would really want to hurt him because of the fact is, like, Andrew really cares for Rantaro, like, at the end of the day, no matter what, because, you know, quote unquote, that is her fiance. So she doesn't really want anything to happen to him at the end of the day. And, and then, you know, Kesa, best girl Kesa, Hanekala, <laughs> freaking Rico from Oscar <laughs> Pretty you know, she's just here for the ride. She's like, you know, if I have to kick some ass, I'll kick some ass. <laughs> oh, I can't. Even her one friend that she had. Mm. 
Unfortunately. Did you get trapped in it? And you! Seeing so you know away, and you and freaking Destiny from Take OP opening Destiny. They are so freaking the same. They are like, <coughs> excuse me. They're literally two independent girls slash women in a way trying to do ish all on their own and it's like hold the f up you partners we are partners we're supposed to do this together but like oh my god but i get it she's angry she's upset about like all the friends that she made now turning on her and she's using that anger to literally kick the shit out of the girl she's like god damn All I fucking hear is Laura from Trouble. Oh my god. Oh, baby. Oh. You feel so bad for her. Oh. Shit. Of course. You were just the blind leading the blind. Oh, damn. Oh. Honestly, he really should be dead by now. Yeah.
So you tell me after three episodes, he's now dead. And she's on her own for the rest of his series. Okay, no. This must be a flashback. Best girl. Oh, okay. I'm thinking it's probably a week. But even in your condition, you should at least wait.
didn't want to be, we wanted to be smart and stealthy, right? I mean, obviously, that's not happening. So much for the stealthy approach. The way she has him, like, on her shoulders. <laughs> oh, my God. That's fucking Aussie here. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm talking about Oh, God. Big old mood. Yeah, but well, where's her partner? She's still a child, honey. <laughs> But come on, and you're still, you know, a child, and of course, you know, we're gonna be jealous as fuck. <laughs> Got separated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, you're still baby. But you didn't want to do it, did you? You probably had to kill someone in order to save yourself.
I gotta say, he really treats Kyle like shit. Like, dead ass. I mean, because still, at the end of the day, these kids are still kids. I understand, yes, they're still weapons at the end of the day. But still, also as well, they're still children. They have feelings. Of course, we ain't going to say that until the next episode. But yeah, continuing guys on uh, what, I, what the hell I was just saying. It's very similar to uh, Talk to Opening Destiny. Because with Talk to Opening Destiny and Destiny herself and all the other music arts, there are certain people who look at them as weapons and weapons only. But with um, Best Girl On and the fact is that Destiny is using... Cosetto's, a.k.a. Anna's little sister's body, Anna still sees Cosetto no matter what. She still sees her little sister. She doesn't see Destiny because she doesn't call Destiny Destiny. She calls Destiny Cosetto because that's still Cosetto at the end of the day. And so she knows and she's trying to find a way to get Cosetto back to normal even if it's possibly in the end that Cosette might die and that we will never see her again in that. But with this, it's very similar because of the fact is they look at these little kids as weapons. There are people who look at these kids as weapons at the end of the day and then there are ones, maybe, you know, Rintado... Kisahara, anyone else who's really sweet to these kids as humans first and then weapons second and such. And so you still feel bad for these kids. They're, they're just babies. Oh my God. I can't imagine being like 10, 11, 12 years old and having all this responsibility and saying that you're got, you got to be the freaking saviors of this freaking planet today. you are like, bruh, I don't think I could do that. But, the, like, okay, number one, let's thank God, you know, we're in Tara and die. Because for a moment, a little teeny tiny moment, I was like, yeah, this kid is dead. This is over. And and she's going to have to make a contract with, like, Kisahara. But, you know, I was like, hey, I am all for that. I'm ready to see two pretty heroes from two completely different seasons work together. Because, you know, we're not getting, you know, that all-star pretty hero movie that I want. You're giving me that bullshit toe animation. And, of course, it's going to take, like, several years for them to say, oh, we're going to finally bring them all back together. And then it's going to be a big old fuck you. But, I mean... It, it would have been weird at first if he did die and, you know, Kisahara would have had to take over because of the fact that she, Enji was so in love with Rentado so freaking much that it's not even funny because, like, okay, she's there sleeping with him, you know, he just woke up, like, because she really, truly cares about him. I mean, even after the fact is that all those kids, including one, a girl who was friends with Enju, turn her back on could turn their backs on her which was so very heartbreaking like you got to feel for this child like oh my god this is a sad story and this is only episode 3 and this show was like what 12 episodes it's going to get worse <laughs> like Oh my god. But yeah, I feel like, you know, I, I don't think the guy in the mask is gonna, essentially going to die in the next episode. I, I feel like he's... <sighs> this is what I feel like is going to happen. Alright, so <laughs> going back to the guy in the mask. They're, okay, they're going to do something like with the recent episode of Platinum's End that I watched last week because I caught up with the show. Um, the guy in the mask currently, that is a fake person, that's somebody else pretending to be him and the real person is currently somewhere else hiding and just waiting until it's time for him to come out i don't really know but <laughs> we'll just see it's just a little guess but gotta pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode four okay episode four and three two one go Are you sure? I 
I mean, you know, Ohio, like, damn, girl. She was like, yeah, y'all go. I will stay. And I will kick some ass, even though you probably won't see it. It's a little too quiet, though. Oh. Um, that's an arm. That little girl literally just killed everybody. God dang. I mean, oh, huh?
you would think, like, right then and there, he would just take off his mask and just show his face, but no. It's a little too easy. Jesus Christ, like, hold up. He just went like this. Uh, mm mm. Mm mm. <laughs> what? Oh. Well, and of course, he's going to have to use it because he has no other choice. Of fucking course. Come on now, that makes the most sense. Oh my god. Hold on, wait. Did this mofo really just use all of them at once? You know, I gotta say, Rentaro, you really got a death wish. I mean, bruh, like, <laughs> even though you ain't dead yet, but seriously, like, oh my god. Yeah, I think you're gonna die. Yeah, 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 yeah that too. Mm-hmm. Oh, dang. Okay, no, no, okay. Let's see what his face looks like, though. The scene, in a way, he's just a stepping stone for anybody else. So, in a way, you know, mm, who knows? Probably in episode five. Yeah, but what about her? Because I feel like she going to do something. I, you know, I wouldn't trust her, though. This 
versus Godzilla. What the hell? Basically. So hold up, if we now have like freaking these things as zodiacs, are we gonna see a fucking Libra? It, and it's just gonna be a tower thing? Bruh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So do they have to do it manually? Then let end you do it. See, he's only got one shot. If he does not get this, like, they're screwed. Yes, you can. I know.
Well, it hit. Well. Oh, oh God, they gotta clean that up too. Oh, oh. Well, really not all of it because you know it's going in the ocean, so. Just stuff that hits the city, but still. That's probably a lot of ish that they gotta clean up. Please tell me she didn't. Oh. That's a lie, and you fucking know it. I can't watch this. This is sad. Imagine if he has to do that to end you. Oh my god, no! I don't want that. Mm mm. I really thought she was gonna survive. Yes, because still, at the end of the day, they're still human!
so what? Oh. Because it's a big behind spoiler, ain't it? Of course. We're probably not going to know until the end of this series, correct? Right? Am I right? Because come on now. If the fact is that she can't say anything, oh, it's a big deal. Because what if it's just kids? In the end, it is still fucking kids. <sighs> That's not good. So in the end, it just really truly seems like by the end of this series, because she has only 7.2% until it reaches its breaking point. She's dying by the end of this. If that's not a hint right there, then I don't know what it is. Oh my god, don't... Do not, oh my god, what the fuck was the name of that show that I watched with my ex-boyfriend? Um, oh my god, what was it? It was about the show where it was a girl who was an android and a guy who was working with her. They were both workers and if an android had turned like, they had a certain amount of years to live. And at a certain amount of time, like once it got to the end of that person's or really android's life they had to come and kill the android so that the android wouldn't go evil and such this is that like straight up except that, you know these girls are turning into monsters and such but still being an android and that's in that show i think it was precious memories something memories i don't remember oh my god because it's been forever since i've watched it i was like i'm watching this one time and one time only we we'll me and him finished it in like two days and i cried we were crying our butts off and i said i'm never watching this show again and, and then it was so freaking funny somebody asked me to watch the, the damn show as a reaction and i was like Ah, I just finished watching that on my own with my boyfriend and I was like, never again, <laughs> never again. I cannot watch certain shows that will make me cry and that by the end of the series I am a hot ass mess because of the fact is it's too much. This girl is going to die. Oh God, don't, oh my God. And then what, okay, hold on, no, 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 because see, still, the, the girl who was with, with the guy with the mask, what the hell happens to her now? Did she is she just captive like for the rest of her life? Hello? Like questions! Please let them be answers, cause come on, you can't leave this child. Like, oh my god. But Kyle, I really thought she was gonna survive. Like, I'm thinking, yeah, you gonna be okay, you little badass bitch. Like, come on now. And then you see her gun and it's all bloody and I'm like, no, like, come on. You really had to do that to me. Bruh, like, no, I, you see, that that's my deal. Like, kids, once again, they are my deal breaker. I hate, freaking hate when kids die in anime because, it like, okay, when it comes to, like, a teenager or an adult and... We, Depending on if you have, like, that established connection between that character and yourself. It's like, okay, <laughs> let me do it like this. Every Akudama that died in Akudama Drive, like, yes, I felt a personal connection to all of them. 
but it didn't hurt as much until my two fa two favorite characters died in the last freaking episode. And freaking Kadaka was like, I was sitting over here like, Kadaka, you're not going to stay here and kill everybody like you didn't bring a dong on Europa. And all the dong on Europa games when you killed best girl Kaede. And I was like, no, you're not killing Kaede, aren't you? And then he was like, yeah, I'm killing Kaede. Mm. It's like that, like, Everybody in Akudama Drive, where you're looking and you're sitting here like the first half of the show, you're like, Kanaka is not going to kill off these characters. Because, yes, Kanaka is known for killing off his characters. If you play Danganronpa, any of them, you know he is known for killing his characters and then keeping a certain amount of characters alive. And so when I got, and when I started watching Akudama Drive last year, I was like, okay, I know in the back of the mind he's not going to kill anybody, but still. I was like, yeah, he's gonna kill somebody, but I was like, this might be the first series where he might not kill anybody, but <laughs> we all know that was a fucking lie. But then now looking at, you know, his new series that is gonna come out next year, that is also going to be um, a mobile game. I'm looking at these characters like, hmm, y'all gonna die too? Like, who knows? And shit. But it just really does seem like she might die by the end of this. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure because... Why would you, the, the biggest thing is, why would you show, even though it didn't show him killing Kaio, but that's gonna, that's a, that's a fucking sign of what could possibly happen by the end of the series. But of course, we're not gonna know, or really, I'm not gonna know until we get there. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episodes three and four of Black Bullet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all um, next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.